already as a student studying acting in Berlin in the 80s, I became fascinated by the physical and visual dimensions of performance. Later, I saw productions of Tadeusz Kantor, Pina Bausch, Robert Wilson, and did research with Jerzy Grotowski and Eugenio Barba. These experiences contributed to my understanding of a theatre that does not want to mirror reality, but invites the spectator to discover new territories beyond the obvious. My creative desire was not to be just an actor, just a director or just a designer. My aim was, at that time, to become what we called a theatre maker. In 1987, I became aware of an actor's training called Meyerholz Biomechanics, which at that time was rarely known in Western Europe. Of course, I had heard about Meyerhold, the famous Russian director who had been killed during the Stalinist terror in 1940. But his work on biomechanics was not fully documented and not really accessible for us. I only saw photos of Nikolai Kustov, a an actor and instructor from Meyerhold's theatre in the 30s, demonstrating a biomechanical etude. Starting from those photographs and some original text, I began my own investigation and received a two-year scholarship for this research. A real breakthrough happened when I met Gennady Bogdanov, who had learned the biomechanical etudes from Kustov himself. From 91 till 96, I worked with Bogdanov and the Mime Center Berlin on the documentation of the biomechanical etudes. As a result of this collaboration, a video was produced under the title Meyerholz Theatre and Biomechanics. The following workshop film will show exercises which will give you a practical understanding of basic principles in biomechanics and an explanation of the specific terms used within the technique. Even if you are not aiming on learning the biomechanical etudes, this material will be useful in your own training as well as in teaching students some of the disciplines in movement theatre. For instance, the importance of kinesthetic awareness, a sense of equilibrium, the economy of movement and the composition, musicality and rhythm of movement. If you can combine curiosity with discipline, rigor with playfulness, the following exercises will be very helpful to improve your understanding of movement in theatre. What is 